Um, so really starting with some positives that I think came out of the other end of pandemic and lockdowns was that so many children I think realise that they do enjoy coming to school and seeing them look, you know, look forward to being there and be excited to kind of be back with their peer groups was amazing. Um, I think some of our pupils you really saw them really value kind of being back with peers and people of their own age and that was incredibly rewarding for I know a lot of our pupils with autism who would normally struggle with those interactions seeing that they do value having people around them was amazing um, I think additionally what was great during lockdown was where we were in smaller groupings and smart like staff teams a lot of the staff really started to relax and kind of let loose with the um, additional need for kind of play-based learning um, you saw some staff just get really silly and they were really okay with kind of getting stuck in and throwing themselves into that imaginative and that creative play and then when you know the remainder of pupils returned you saw that they really valued seeing that kind of attitude shift in some of their staff members and that was just lovely um, but I think a wider strong point that I quite strongly feel about is that the range of children that I support I don't feel that they were very strongly considered in a lot of the government guidance that came out during the pandemic um, by the definition of vulnerable all of our pupils then really should have been in school but to have all of them in school wouldn't have been safe for themselves for staff their families um, a lot of the pupils I work with do not have uh, like cognitively very strong understanding of kind of appropriate social conventions or personal hygiene um, so again safety and social distancing just wouldn't have been possible um, so I think I was very lucky to be supported by some really creative problem solving for from our senior leaders um, and some really willing volunteers in the early days of the pandemic to kind of create our own framework of operations to meet all the needs of our pupils both in school and out of school while keeping everyone and their family safe. Um, I personally worked throughout the pandemic even if I wasn't on rotor to be in a class team I was at home you know with my laminator, my glue gun, my guillotine um, making home learning packs. A lot of our pupils they cannot attain or access uh, to online learning that was so kind of classically seen throughout the country um, so we really needed to kind of make those individualized packs that we can send home physically the children can touch and manipulate them and interact with them themselves um, but because of that kind of intensive interaction that was needing throughout the learning uh, that ended up developing a lot of really strong bonds between myself other staff and the families and guardians supporting the children at home um, even kind of so far out of the other end almost of the pandemic now I have maintained some really strong relationships with some of the parents and carers um, and so that is definitely a positive and without the you know strong senior leaders that we've got I don't think we would have made it through to the extent that we did. 